As part of our Global Understanding of Petroleum Engineering series, Part 3, we discuss roughness effect on fracture flow in relation to petroleum engineering. We have a question for you. How does the fracture roughness affect the fracture flow in the petroleum engineering industry? And where in the petroleum engineering industry can the fracture flow be found? Fracture flow can be found in hydrogeology, geothermal energy extraction, underground radioactive waste repositories, and petroleum reservoirs. The most commonly used lab-scale fracture model generation methods can be done with natural rock samples or synthetic samples. With natural rock samples, Brazilian fracture method can be used to create replicas for further experimental studies or surface profile generation and simulation. For synthetic samples, smooth Healy-Shaw samples or etched Healy-Shaw samples can be used. However, they are not realistic and do not represent real fractures. In 2015, Carfanta et al. conducted decane injection into heavy mineral oil saturated marble and limestone fractures. And previously in 2006, Hamida injected kerosene into the smooth Healy Shaw sample for both heavy oil and light mineral oil cases. Side by side comparison of the center injection visualization models of rough fracture and smooth fracture shows the distinct symmetry difference caused by the fracture surface roughness. What could be the reason for this? Single phase flow includes water and non-Newtonian fluids flow, whereas Darcy's law and cubic law are often used to describe the flow models. They are not applicable in the case of fracture flow. This is due to the fact that fracture roughness induces nonlinear flow, non-Darcy flow turbulence, change in flow rate and flow regime, from laminar to turbulent, and change in hydraulic transmissivity. Two-phase flow includes one, miscible flow, and two, immiscible flow. Let us think about what kind of impact fracture roughness has on two-phase flow. As can be seen in the two-phase fracture flow experiments done with limestone and with a different roughness scale, with higher roughness, residual saturation remains in larger pockets. Not only that, fracture roughness can also affect the residual oil saturation. What could be the reason behind the previously observed deviation in relative permeability curves? It's because of channeling. Let's also look at the solid flow. Here, we inject a propent fluid constituted with 0.2% polymer and 5% propens. We should keep in mind that water invasion and prop and flow are significantly different due to reasons such as viscosity difference, chemical interaction with the solid surface, and also solid content. Keeping this in mind, let's compare the prop and flow behavior in the case of flat surface and rough surface. Let's also look at the miscible flow. We compare pink limestone and marble, keeping in mind that marble is smoother than limestone. It could be seen in the study by Corfanta et al. in 2015 that fracture roughness controls the velocity distribution and chemical reaction rate. And in miscible flow, Peclet number, 
Dam Kohler number, and aperture variation can easily affect the flow regime change. As our final conclusion, roughness effect in fracture flow is important, and traditional flow models do not suffice to describe these fracture flows. This can be due to deviations from cubic law, relative permeability curves, channeling flow, trapping zones, etc. Thank you for watching.